Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to learn the Nashville number system and transposing. So what the Nashville number system is, it is using numbers instead of chords to play and interpret music. So an example of that, if I'm in the key of C, and instead of saying we're going to play a C, F, A minor, G, instead of playing C, or instead of saying C, F, A minor, G, I'm going to say we're going to play a 1, a 4, a 6, and a 5. And this comes in handy because, let's say, we're in the key of C, but that key no longer works for us, and we got to go to the key of D. Well, instead of me trying to transpose all those notes one by one, I already know my key of D and their numbers. So I just got to do a 1, 4, 6, 5. I can go to any key and do the same thing. In the key of G, we'll have G, 4, 6, 5. So G, C, E minor, D. Um, and it comes with time that you'll learn what all these chords are and what their numbers are, but it's really easy to understand and transpose when you're in the moment. So let's get into it. So the first scale, the first key we're gonna learn is the key of D, because the song that I'm gonna use today is in the key of D, and then we'll go to another key. So in the key of D, we have these chords that belong to the key of D, and there's seven chords that belong to the key of D. The first chord is D, second chord is E minor, third chord is F sharp minor, fourth chord is G, fifth chord is A, sixth chord is B minor, and then seventh chord is diminished. These diminished chords, we usually don't use them. Uh, they are used, just usually not in usually uh, pop music that much. So we won't be using that one in this uh, example today. But going back to our key, we have D, E minor, F sharp, G, A, B minor, skipping the seven, go back to D. But in the key of D, again, we're thinking numbers. This is gonna be our one chord, our two chord, E minor, three chord, F sharp minor, four chord, G, five chord, A major, six chord, B minor, and back to our D chord one. So the song is Levanto Mis Manos, and this song is in the key of D, um, and it has a whole intro, but we're just gonna start with the verse, which goes, Levanto Mis Manos, which is a G. I'm gonna say the chords first. And then it goes to an A, no tenga, to a F sharp minor, to a B minor, and then an E minor, levanto mis manos. and then to an A, back to a D chord, and then it does D7, and then the whole progression starts all over, for the chorus, G, A, F sharp minor, E minor, and then to E minor, back to D7. So that is the key of D using all these chords. So instead of thinking G, A, F sharp minor, B minor, E, A, D, it's really a, a mouthful when you think of it that way. But if you use the number system, it's a lot easier to think four, five, three, six, two, five, one. And I say it's easy to think that way because that is such a common progression. It happens so much in music. But I use this song uh, specifically because this is the one that uses all six of the chords in the key with the exception of the seventh. So again, if we're starting in G, this is gonna be our four chord because in the key of D, G is the four. So we have four and then five, three and then two chord E minor A and back to our D our one chord and then it's a one seven and again back to a four chord five chord three chord six chord Five chord, back to our one. So, so the way this is also useful is if you're in a band setting, the band leader can give you fingers, numbers using uh, the fingers. So one, two, three, four, five, and then I use six. Instead of calling out uh, G sharp minor, uh, D sharp minor, 
uh, beep. Instead of calling out that whole name, he can just say one, or she can just say two, five, six, uh, and probably don't even have to say it. They can just give you a sign for five, two, three, six, one. If you follow that, it's really easy to catch on with uh, anyone who's leading. So this was on the key of D. But let's say, oh, well, we can't play it in the key of D. We want to play it in another key. Let's go to another key. It's pretty simple. The key of C. Now, we got to know all the chords that belong to the key of C. And those chords are going to be a C major, D minor, E minor, F chord, G major, A minor. Again, the seven chord we don't use, but it is B diminished. And then it goes back to C. So if we're using the, uh, the number system, we're not going to think an F, a G, E minor, A minor, D, D minor, G, C. We're not going to think that. We want to think 4, 5, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1. So that song, In Time, would be... Go to a four chord. Five. Three chord to a six. To a two chord. And then five chord. And then a seven dominant. And then it starts all over. Four goes to a five. Three chord. Six chord. And then we go to our two chord. Four five. And then back to our one. So again, we can do this in any key as long as we know all the chords in that key and the number that each chord gets represented by. So we did C. We did start it off in D. And we can go to any key, but just for now, we'll keep it in those two. Yeah. This is going to be useful, um, and use, especially for playing the church stuff that we play at church. We mainly play in the key of C, D, E, F, G, and A. We might play in B, but we don't play in sharps or flats, really, just to keep it simple for our musicians. So hopefully that helps.